The whole system of capitalism is a system of capitalizing. Capitalize means exploiting. It means um, taking things from another place. Anything in this world uh, have to come from some place. It not come from out of nothing. Uh, so the true um, worth of the money of the country is the amount of um, resources one country have. For example, the amount of gold, oil, um, and other at stage uh, like uh, silver or um, the amount of um, buildings. So the amount of people can also uh, be one uh, st static uh, of the money in some cases. And it all depends on resources. The money, the paper, there's only uh, one thing that we have made up. That's not something that has true viral. There's only uh, only viral as long as we believe that have viral. If you understand what I mean. Um, now we, what you see is all the banks want to get inflation and that means actually that the society becomes uh, less rich because they give freely and uh, part of their um, brutal um, budgets uh, up to the government so that you spend actually more so that you get uh, last in the end and that you have more problems with uh, your own life. It is extremely arrogant. It's just a no way to know works on this moment. Because the essence of capitalism is to turn nature into commodities and turn commodities into capital. The life green earth is turned into nothing more than dead broke rich. Luxury items for the view, toxic cesspools for the masses, wherein one desperate, dismoralized humanity is held in captivity with drugs, with TV, and with armed force. So, yeah, what I want to say is that capitalism always ends in totalitarianism. With all the, you know, for example in Europe, the most of the banks are being, um, they are um, stay in the right by the European National Bank. And they have actually to get their money, uh, to um, but to stay, let them stay their money, a uh, pay to let their money stay there. Uh, back in the time, a uh, hill of far long ago, uh, when banks just started, uh, they don't ask something and they don't uh, lose something. So uh, it stays stable. It's just a place where you. Uh, can save more safely as uh, uh, put your money. But now it seems that uh, it can be possible that in the future, um, at least um, some countries maybe it's a little already, but that we uh, can in Europe, maybe also in America, um, have to put, pay the banks to let our money stay on the bank. It can be possible. It will also result that a lot of people choose to not um, have their money on the banks and that can also get problems for the banks. And that's the reason that I wanted to get inflation that would mean actually that anybody uh, give 
uh, consume more, uh, give more of their budgets to the European banks and to all the uh, other banks, so, because that's good for the economy. In the end, it will also, I know, know how much years it will cost, this will in the end cost totally um, disastrous um, thing, because the system cannot work for this for internal time. Um, the only people that believe that are business people and most of them are a bit insane, if you ask me. They think the whole world has an um, unlimited amount of resources. And if they do not have, then they think, oh, we can go to another planet. Um, just absolutely not sure that we e even... Uh, over more than 100 years, more than we have. Again, uh, go to the uh, next planet. Because it's the closest planet where we can we live. Uh, are actually the plan, a plan, a, there's a planet from 40, uh, 24 light years. and. One day I hear is more um, with the technology that we now have is more than 919 years. And so that will be impossible to reach that. We cannot have uh, so much food or can grow food in the way that we go there. That's pretty insane. To think actually that we can move to another planet and do exactly the same horrible things again, over and over again, like an um, intergalactic parasitic organism, um, like Yanova in the Final Fantasy VII games. You know that uh, creature that's been in the glass bottle and where Severod the main uh, antagonist believed that it is his mother. The green, um, weird looking woman alien. You know. Alright. Now that we know that the Word of the money, of the money, is dependent on the resources some country have, and mainly, uh, mainly actually, not only oil but also gold and also sand. It's something that we uh, go lacking of uh, the last two. If we go to uh, waste sand. Uh, then we cannot build buildings anymore. It does not sense like from the desert. This is a special kind of sand that are used in uh, building. building. Oh. And for the ground to make it flat. And make it for the stones. And a lot of other stuff also. Uh, that being actually the reason uh, the word of the money. Therefore, they exploit the earth more and more because they are in the crisis of the money that they are actually creating themselves. It's pretty insane. If I look back on before the euro in Europe, in the country where I live, uh, most people have twice the amount of to spend to spending uh, money now. There are ones to again cut it in half, all the banks. banks. So they want to make the um, first world um, or matrix. I like to use the word matrix because we live on one planet and we not live on a different spaceship or something like that. 
it's insane to think if you ask me. Um, that wants to make our incomes uh, just as last uh, and just as miserable as that from the third world. Only then the people in the third world uh, have in some play sometimes even more for our time for themselves. Only they live them on the dirt, and you live in one building, and you've been a slave, money, you know, a money slave, a duco slave. And how can we stop that? I think the only way to stop it uh, from decaying is uh, by quitting the capitalist mindset and by that extent system. Because then only we can uh, actually do something about the problems on this planet. We need a moneyless society and a society where anybody and where we have not so much difference between rich and poor. Let me be fair, the richest um, eight people on this planet, the Krupp brothers, uh, Bill Gates, uh, etc., they have more money together as the poorest 50% of the population of the whole earth. For people that don't know that, I want to say that Monsanto works together with Bill Gates and with his Linda and Bill uh, Foundation. Monsanto is one of the planet most of humanity's most toxic industries. It creates GMOs, uh, how being proofs in the case, for example, with their uh, soy soybeans to destroy um, populations of uh, vital um, insects and diminish species diversity. Also, um, genetic modified soy is also. Uh, in some studies show that it has a negative effect on the health of humans. In contrary with non-GMO soy, it will have positive effects on human health. Because they are uh, messed so much with the genetic material of the soybean, that is not uh, actually a soybean anymore, it is a mutant version of bacteria and soybeans. And that's how they work with soy, with soya, with other uh, products in the GMO industries. I find a restriction law a link uh, about more problems with uh, Monsanto. Bill Gates uh, also uh, tests. Bill Gates is also testing. Uh, antibiotics uh, on Africa children from Monsanto on children in Africa and there have been a lot more of a very terrible wrong with a lot of the billionaires on this planet and trillionaires trillionaires uh, are throwing us on this planet, um, the uh, extremely rich Putin. Putin um, can be possible the most richest person on the earth in this moment. I think Putin is less uh, evil than. Trump, they both are extremely e are evil, but don't get it. 
not get me wrong. But I think uh, Trump is more terrifying evil. Both are uh, hunters, both are murderers by this extent. And the ministers of diversity species. But Trump is uh, still slightly more evil, if you ask me. But yes, back to the money. I hope that you uh, understand what I'm uh, talking about. If you have questions, put them in the description below. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, I'm out.